Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. What's hot in our industry right now? Furniture style. Now, this is really hot, especially in vanities and islands. I really like the furniture look of putting legs, whether it's legs that attach to the side of the cabinet, more like posts, like an H leg would be, or it's really furniture type feet. Let's talk a little bit about how we can present that to our client. And I have a little bit of an island here, not a fancy island. I just put two drawer base 36s back to back. Um, and I want you to notice that they have toe kicks. I'm going to go to our floor plan and I'm going to make a quick change to that. If I'm going to put furniture legs on these cabinets, the first thing I need to do is remove that toe kick. So if you notice, I double clicked on the cabinet. I'll simply go in and I will choose add-ons. I'll go to base modifications and at that point I'll say no toe. Toe kick's gone. I can do the same thing on the other cabinet. Double click on it. We'll open it back up. There it is. No toe kick. I'll say let's turn the toe kick off. I'm sorry, there is a toe kick. We're going to turn the toe kick off, and you'll see no toe kick. Now let's change our catalog. I'm going to come up here to the Art for Every Day catalog, where I could choose the Adams Woodworking, but let's use the Art for Every Day catalog. Now you'll notice that I use a lot of catalogs, and I do because the majority of the companies in the kitchen and bath industry know that most people are using 2020. So if they want to push their product out into the field, they create 2020 catalogs. And you'll notice here, Art for Every Day has a great catalog from corbels to moldings to mantles, corner posts, Queen Anne legs, bases, legs and posts. I'm going to jump down to the bun feet area. And if I just simply click on it, you'll see a preview of the feet. I just simply click on them, and we'll keep scrolling down, and you'll see lots of different feet and, uh, available. I'm going to choose the four and a half, though. So if you give me just a second here, let me tell you how I'm going to place this. I'm going to drop this, and as a quick time saver, when I'm placing feet underneath of a cabinet, so because there's a barrier right here, I simply hold the control and the shift key down on the keyboard at the same time, and then I drag the foot to be exactly where I want it to be. And let's say we go get another one. I'll drag it over, we'll drag and drop, snap it into place. Now you'll see that I am not being exact right now because we have limited time together this afternoon. So I have a lot of things to show you. So I'm just manually guessing just about where they need to be. But I think I'm doing a pretty good job at it. And I'm going to do one more foot here at the top. And the reason I'm going to do that is because you can see it from my angle. But I'm not going to put all the feet in. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. Now as you see this, now we're starting to design our kitchen. I'm starting to do our layout. There we go. Give it a second. You'll see that I have added feet to my drawing. For other great ideas, please join the 2020 community at www.2020spaces.com forward slash community.